The ISAF Nations Cup Grand Final brings together some of the world's top match racing nations. 60 competitors from 14 countries have traveled here to the United States. And the host of this year's event is Sale Sheboygan in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. This is an important event for Sheboygan because we have uh, built a, an incredible facility to host world-class match racing and competitive sailing events. The weather forecast is, is for fair skies, light to medium winds. This should be an excellent week of sailing. The sailors were treated to a festive opening ceremony at the Blue Harbor Resort. And now it's time to get down to racing. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV and welcome to day number one of the ISAF Nations Cup Grand Final. For the rest of the week, we'll be bringing you the racing highlights as 19 teams battle it out on Lake Michigan in both open and women's divisions. We begin with the highest ranked women's skipper in this regatta. It's Claire Leroux from France, a two-time winner of the Nations Cup. And she crosses the line just ahead of her opponent, Katsarnia Pick from Poland. On the upwind beat, Lara picks up where she left off last time and is off to an early lead. A surprise though, at the top mark from the left hand side, it is Pick who is bow forward on Lara, but Lara has starboard advantage and this game is dead even. Whoa, port starboard right there. Contact could be resulting from that and definitely a penalty flag. At the Leward Mark, it's Leroy off to an early lead. And Pick has a penalty to do. And with that, the reigning champion racks up her first win. In our next match, we move to the open division where Przemek Tarnacki from Poland, number five, faces the highest ranked open skipper here, Mads Ebler from Denmark. At the start, Ebler's been in control of the pre-start so far. There's the gun. Upwind, Ebler's in control of the match. It's close, but good news for him, he gave a penalty to Tarnak. It's a luff and then attack from the Danish team. Ebler stays right on top of it. At the top mark, into the spinnaker set, and it's Ebler's race to lose. And though he's close, Tarnacki still has a penalty to turn. And so our top ranked teams have each racked up a win as Ebler seals the deal over Tarnacki. Back on the starting line, it's Rita Gonclaves, a five-time Portuguese women's match racing champion. She'll face USA's Jenny Tullock, a former youth world champion. With a little over a minute to go, Gonclaves tacks to windward Tullock, tight to lure. Both teams late for the line. That was the gun, and we're off with Tullock to lure of Gonclaves. Upwind, the two exchange many tacks, and it's Gonclaves who pulls out into an early lead. Oh, but close action. Tulluk is coming back. And now it's Tulluk back in the lead. Mark one has Tulloch in front, but only just. Port Ley line for the lured mark. Tulloch is stuck to the outside. Gonclaves is in control of the match, unless Tulloch can slide in there. Does she have rights? Already on port. Here we go, but the zone has been reached. Tulloch to the inside. If she can stay in front, 
It'll be impressive, and she does. Dial down, Gonclaves takes the lead. Tullock shifts to the right. Back at the top mark, it's Tullock back in charge. Gonclaves came on strong right to the end. Port Starboard at the finish. Jenny Tullock squares down and crosses the line first. In our next match, we move back to the open division where USA's Sean Bennett, the national match racing champion on starboard number four, will face GBR's Lucy McGregor, a former match racing, women's match racing world champion and the only women's team in the open division. After the four minute pre-start, Bennett has led into the line. It's gonna be McGregor behind it to windward. There's the gun. First shift was a righty, but long term it looks good. Left, that should advantage Bennett and McGregor tacks away. Bennett will stay with it. Halfway up the beat and it is very close. Bennett has to keep lead bowing. McGregor's been coming on strong from the right. McGregor has just had superior speed and sailed around Bennett. Now the bow people have the poles up to lure. That's going to advantage them on the set. Tack set for both boats. Bennett pushed hard downwind and is close, but McGregor maintains the lead at the bottom of the mark. A lead change. Bennett from the left is strong, and McGregor now has a four-length deficit. Don't write out McGregor yet, though. Approaching the finish line, it is her speed again that has gotten her back into Bennett. She's rolling over top of him and has to jive one more time to the finish. Oh, Bennett to win when McGregor squares down to Lured and just takes the race. In our next match, back with the women, it's Mandy Mulder, Olympic silver medalist from the Netherlands, facing Sharon Ferris Choate from Canada. As both teams head back to the line, Ferris Choate is in a bit of trouble. Mulder has set up beautifully above the ley line into the committee boat, and she'll approach the start first, closing the door. Ferris Choate now has to start behind. Our next match in the women's division has Ru Wang from China facing Olivia Price from Australia. And already sparks are flying in the pre-start. Price shifts to Leward and now tries to close the door on Wang. I'm sure the Chinese team did not expect that move. Two tacks later before we head to the start. Price tries to double tack to close the door on Wang, but it doesn't work, and now Wang's gonna get into the line. Less than 10 seconds to go. Wang was in trouble, but now she's back in command and will start to windward. Hiking is definitely the difference in the Elliott six meters. You can really see these crews working hard, giving it all they've got. Wang drives Price out to the port tack ley line, and it'll be Price tacking on her windward quarter. At the top mark, Wang is in charge, and with women's match racing now in the Olympics, she'll be looking to go there. She missed the last Olympics in Beijing due to an injury. She won't be happy with that. Price rolls over the top. At the bottom mark, Wang has tried everything to stay with Price. The game is close, but the Australians are still in the lead. And Price holds on to the lead for the win. 
In the open division, the next race has Yasser Salal Tumsin from Turkey against Lowry Jury from New Zealand. The breeze very even across the course. The goal hey. just get off the line clean, and that's what both teams do. Almost to the port tack, lay line. Tumsen finally decides to tack. Jury responds. He'll take an early lead. Tumsen goes back away. The teams meet again, this time on the lay line, and this time Jury will clamp one right on Tumsen's bow as we head for the mark. At the top mark, Tumsen is close, and he'll have the advantage downwind to try and use his wind shadow and catch Jury. Tumsen has stayed close, but at the lured mark, Jury still maintains the lead. And with that, Jury wraps up Tumsen. Well, that wraps up our coverage for this first day of racing here at the Nations Cup. And while the fleet finishes their final flights on the water, they'll be treated to a party again tonight here at the Blue Harbor Resort and then more action tomorrow. Stay with us. I'm Tucker Thompson. Thanks for joining us.